Hi guys, we're here with Michaela Govender. She's au pairing in Pennsylvania, USA. She's currently 18 years old. How are you doing, Michaela? How are you? Great, thank you. I was hoping you could tell us a bit about your host family. How many kids you're looking after and what's it like in Pennsylvania? Well, um, I look after two kids. One's five months old, a little baby girl. And the other boy, he's seven years old. His name is Nicholas. And yeah, they're just the sweetest ever. And my host mom, she's an accountant. She's actually from Ukraine. Oh, wow. Yes. And my host dad's a chef slash operations manager. Yeah. And yeah, here in Pennsylvania, it's really, really nice. It's very peaceful. peaceful really is. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and how does your life differ from living in Durban to living in America now? Um, other than the kids, I would say, like, if I had to take the kids out of the equation, mm -hmm. like, it's very relaxed. The atmosphere here in Pennsylvania is really relaxed, but throw the kids into it, it's <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds so great. Kids are always going to make your life be super busy and more it, fun and It is, but it's, but it's amazing. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> oh, that's great. What does your day-to-day -day routine look like with, the, with your host family? Well, obviously getting up in the morning, getting kids for, ready for school, fed, bathed. <laughs> And now with the homeschooling, so mm -hmm. it's like kind of juggle between the baby and with homeschooling and stuff. Okay. So that's a bit challenging because he really misses school like a lot. Yes. So yeah, that's been a bit hectic. But yeah, it's just you know playing with them, getting to it. Every no two days are the same. No two days are the same. That's right. no two days are the same. <laughs> You learn new things about these kids every day. <laughs> That's amazing. But really nice, yeah. It really is amazing watching them grow and change and learning all of these new things. It's really the best thing, yeah. <laughs> and now what do you do in your free time? Are there other au pairs in your area that you meet up with? Uh, what do you like to do when you guys hang out? Uh, I have three other au pair friends here that mm -hmm. are like close to me the rest are like an hour or so away from me oh, wow. <laughs> but yeah occasionally on a sunday we do go out for like lunch or dinner just to like catch up and mm -hmm. like you just relax <laughs> we go yes. we have something called the promenade here so we either go to the movie theater or we go grab a cup of coffee or it's lunch or dinner or just just shopping and just hanging out so <laughs> oh that's fun and how did you adjust to your homesickness how did you deal with that when you first went over did you find that that you experienced culture shock and homesickness uh, everyone always asks me that question and <laughs> they're always surprised at my answer because I don't know whether it, the homesickness is coming or not, but I haven't really been homesick. <laughs> I, it's my host family here have made me feel so at home and so loved and cared for that I haven't had time to feel homesick, I think. So that's great. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> really good. <laughs> now there's lots of program benefits when going with OVC, the flights, your medical insurance, you, the support of your area director. Do you feel that yeah. you're well looked after when you're over Definitely. there? Definitely. Definitely. My area director, Bonnie, she's amazing. She's always texting us to see if we're okay, to see you know, if she can help us in any way. She's always like lending us and giving us ideas on what to do with our kids and stuff so we're really well connected and really looked after here okay, great and then what do you do for your monthly au pair meetings you guys together and well, at her place yeah, or? i haven't really been uh like with the monthly meetings because of the whole coronavirus so yeah, that has sure. been cut off um 
But yeah, we normally just go out shopping. We went to a mall recently. And otherwise, it's just hanging out at Bonnie's house with food, lots of food, and just getting to know each other. So yeah, it's really nice. Oh, that's great. So now you've been there for seven months in Pennsylvania, or pair with the same family, before yes. the whole corona outbreak. Did you do <laughs> traveling at all? And what was your favorite place? Um, I've been, been to Long Island, New mm -hmm. Jersey. The <clears throat> New York is still my favorite. Oh. Uh, even though it's really busy, streets are really busy, it's really lots of stuff happening, it's still my favorite place. You would never get tired of seeing the city skyline, the big beautiful buildings and the bridges. It's amazing. Oh, that sounds so, great. Yeah. New York is amazing. I have to agree with you there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, sorry, I'm just having a check on my questions. Can you explain your living and working conditions? Do you have your own room separate to the family, own bathroom? How are you situated? I have my own room mm -hmm. and I have my own bathroom as well. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's they they made it very clear to me that they respect that. I need my space at times mm -hmm. so they don't come into my room they like respect my privacy and stuff so okay. good, yeah yes um, what has been your favorite american food so far that's a hard question <laughs> <laughs> because my host dad's a chef like former oh, chef yes. so i get food like it's no tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I tried everything, but my favorite would definitely be, I think, probably enchiladas. I hope that can make mean enchiladas. They're really good. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds super delicious. And I wish you heard American saying or word that you had never heard before, but now you're hearing it all the time. You know how people use y'all or... <laughs> oh, yes, yes, they use that a lot. And sometimes when I'm homeschooling Nicholas, they have mm -hmm. all of these pronunciations of words. And sometimes he's like, you're not saying it correctly. I'm like, I am saying it correctly. He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so definitely pronunciation of words is different. Okay. Yeah, you have to adjust to that. Definitely. <laughs> what was your reasoning for choosing OVC to do your au pairing program? I, well, my dad heard about it from his friend's daughter who was doing au pairing. And she was like, this is one of the best agencies that you could go through. Mm -hmm. So, like, we just made an interview, like, made an appointment, did an interview, and, yeah, my application was online. And, and the whole really application cool. process, it's super easy, right? They help it, you through the whole thing? Yes, they help you with everything, with, like, booking your visa appointments and stuff like that. So it's really helpful. And, like, when you're filling out, you know, what you're looking for in a host family and your likes and your dislikes, what to include and what not to include, they really, really mm -hmm. help you through that. Oh, that's great. Yeah, we really do look after our clients. Yeah. Now, what are your plans for when you come back to South Africa? Have you thought about studying, working? What, what are you going to do? I'm actually planning on studying child psychology when I come back. Okay. So, yeah, I... When I first like came to USA, I did not know what I wanted to study, which mm -hmm. is why I did the old pairing. I was like, it's a good chance for me to get out and experience life and mm -hmm. discover myself and find what you know what field I kind of fit into. And I love children and I love helping kids and stuff. So I figured, okay, why not turn that into a career? And I know how kids work. So I was like, okay, maybe child psychology would be really good for me. Oh, that sounds amazing because you really do grow as an, a person and you, you find do. yourself. You do. Yes. <laughs> what, re what recommendations would you have to other au pairs 
that are thinking about considering doing the program? Do you have any advice for them or what would you say to them now? I would say to them, if you had the opportunity to become an au pair, grab it with both hands. It is the most amazing life-changing experience ever. You have your tough days, but that just makes you love the good day even more. You just find yourself growing and changing and you, for me, it was discovering that I could be really independent. Mm -hmm. And I found that, you know, that I love all these new things. Like I never liked fishing before and now I go fishing all the time and being outdoors and stuff. It's, you just discover all of these new things about yourself. And it's really, really amazing. And you get to travel and stuff. And when interviewing with different host families before you match with anything, anyone, um, what are some important questions that you made sure to ask your family when interviewing them to make sure that you would match and be the perfect fit? Definitely the daily routine. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes what you expect and what really is happening is like way two different things. Um, kids sometimes with allergies, that is really important. Like to find a family that you know you you can mesh well mesh well with with allergies and stuff. Allergies. What else do I ask them? Um, gosh, my whole family was like perfect. I kind of like. <laughs> Like so far, <laughs> you just gotta make sure that you feel comfortable with them and you get along really well with them. Like with me, I the moment like the Skype call started, I felt like I knew them for like forever. Oh, that's, that's great. Yeah, it was that's really, really sweet. Yeah. Now. Do you drive when you're there or do you rely more on public transport? Uh, I do drive. How was it adjusting to the other side of the road? It was, it was a little bit of adjusting. It's actually easier to drive here. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Um, yeah, driving on the wrong side of the road. I actually took um, a driver's uh, lesson when I came here. So mm -hmm. that really helped. Because I had to drop him off at school and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, you adjust pretty quickly, yeah? You adjust pretty quickly. Cause on the wrong side time. of the car, on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> you you get your <laughs> Yes. Um, can you tell me more about your kids and what you do with your host family? Like, what are some of the fun activities that you like to do with them, places you like to go before the outbreak? <laughs> Um, we used to love God. We, we love it. We still do it. Mm -hmm. Love it. So spending time outside, anything outside, but when we're inside, it's watching a movie together or playing games. Monopoly has become the new family favorite because <laughs> it keeps my host kid busy for hours. <laughs> So yeah, Monop board games, we have karaoke night, which is awesome. Oh, that's great. That that's by far my favorite. But yeah, going to the parks, bike riding, we have like a little uh, river creek, like five minutes away from the house. Okay. So we ride our bikes and like go there. It's really, really nice, yeah. Oh, that sounds really cool. Can you share like one experience or one fun story that you have a fond memory of when you were all together um, that you'd just like to share? Um, so obviously the new baby, she mm -hmm. uh, like is just learning all of these new things. So a couple like days ago, we were all sitting in the lounge and we had her in this little bouncer thing and Nicholas was busy entertaining her with all his funny dance tricks and everything. And then for a second, everything went silent and she giggled. Mm -hmm. And that was the sweetest thing ever. 
like melted everyone's heart. Even Nicholas was like, "Oh, mommy, did you hear that?" It was the sweetest thing ever. <laughs> we <Sweet>. oh shame. <laughs> yeah, ease your whole experience. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what about your all pair weekend class or your credits? How are you getting the credits needed for your visa and your program? Um, so I was supposed to do um, a weekend course in mm -hmm. April, but that got canceled and we have moved it up to June. Okay. So I'm just waiting for the class right now. To, and the weekend course gives you the whole six credits. Yes. Yeah, six credits, I think it was. Yeah, so it gives you that. So I'm just waiting for that. And I'm doing a performing arts course. Oh, that's cool. Wait, yeah, so I'm really class away. Is it a Sorry. weekend class or is it in Pennsylvania? No, it's in New York. Okay. Yeah, so it's at yeah. Berkeley College in New York. Oh, that's so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I think that's all. Sorry, I'm not thinking about the awkward parts, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. Um, ET is also in Pennsylvania. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you. <laughs> so, thank you so much, Michaela, for joining us today and letting no us problem. decide your au pair life. No problem. It was my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> um, so everyone else, thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.